types of severe weather. A severe weather alert flashes across the television screen, and your show is interrupted by the local meteorologist updating the audience about the dangerous conditions outside. Regardless of the season or location, severe weather can have an impact on your safety, so it is important to understand some of these phenomena. Springtime brings the threat of dangerous thunderstorms and tornadoes over much of the United States. These strong storms occur as cold, dry air from Canada collides with warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. These conditions most frequently happen across the Great Plains in a region of the country nicknamed Tornado Alley. With winds as high as 200 miles per hour, tornadoes can cause extensive damage and even the loss of lives. Tornado formation begins when air masses from the Gulf and from Canada meet and start to spin parallel to the ground. As the warm, humid air near the ground is heated by the sun, it begins to rise. This results in a vertical spin with the warm air rising and the cold air moving rapidly outward. Tornadoes are often associated with other types of severe weather, such as thunderstorms and hail. Those events are also triggered by the collision of warm, humid air masses and cold, dry air masses. Hurricanes are a second example of severe weather. Like a tornado, these storms are characterized by rapidly spinning winds that form as warm air rises. In spite of how similar the storms may seem, they are really quite different, starting with the time of year in which they usually occur. Summertime begins hurricane season although the peak occurs in late summer or early fall. Hurricanes differ from tornadoes in several ways other than when they occur. Tornadoes have a higher wind speed, form quickly, and last a relatively short amount of time. Hurricanes last days, form over warm ocean waters, and span a much greater area, up to hundreds of miles. Although the winds of a hurricane are not necessarily as fast as those in a tornado, they are accompanied by flooding that can devastate a region. Another type of severe weather similar to a hurricane is a northeaster, sometimes called a nor'easter. Both hurricanes and nor'easters are characterized by spinning around an area of low pressure, and they both can produce devastating amounts of precipitation. Since a nor'easter occurs most frequently in the winter, it results in blizzard conditions and copious amounts of snow. Although if the temperature is warm enough, it will bring flooding rain. Nor'easters are also larger than hurricanes. A hurricane might span a few states, but a nor'easter can impact an entire region of the country. This nor'easter spread from Canada to Virginia. The wind conditions in a nor'easter vary from other cyclonic events, too. Hurricanes and tornadoes have their fastest winds at the surface, but the fastest winds in a nor'easter are high in the jet stream. A haboob is a severe weather event that does not involve any precipitation at all. More commonly known as a sandstorm or dust storm, this situation results when the top layer of sand, dust, and dirt is picked up by fast-moving winds. This results in conditions that can make driving treacherous and may damage machinery. The most direct danger in a haboob results from sand irritating the eyes, lungs, and skin. Severe weather events resulting from fast-moving winds are only one category of dangerous weather phenomena. Hail, lake effect snow, and dangerous wind chills can also pose risks to property and human life. Now, the next time the sky turns dark and the winds gust, you will have a better understanding of the nature of Earth's changing weather. <laughs>